live from our studios in Singapore and London. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. Well, good morning. It's 7 a.m. here in Singapore, 11 p.m. in London and 8 a.m. in Japan, where there's new doubts surrounding the security of cryptocurrency exchanges. One of the country's biggest, CoinCheck, has offered to refund a half a billion dollars in currency stolen by hackers on Friday. Now, Japan is one of the world's most enthusiastic traders in cryptocurrencies, and the theft has cast doubt over the credibility of the exchange system. Rodri Davis has more. As many as 10,000 businesses in Japan are said to accept cryptocurrencies. This virtual heist is bound to increase concerns about their security. At the center of this, Tokyo-based CoinCheck, one of the largest digital currency exchanges in Japan. It said on Friday it had been hacked, resulting in the loss of half a billion dollars, the biggest ever. There are some troubles in one of our systems. I am sorry for causing much trouble to clients and relevant parties. Cryptocurrencies don't have a centralized register. Their strength, in theory, comes from having a connected distributed register called a blockchain. A transaction is ordered by putting the currency into groups called blocks, which link to and verify the previous block. The stolen coin check assets were said to be kept in a hot wallet, which is part of the exchange connected to the internet as opposed to a cold wallet, where funds are stored securely offline. CoinCheck said it will issue full refunds to all of the quarter of a million of its users who have become victims of the hack. But will that be enough? My total losses are about 1 million yen. I was shocked. I'm finding it difficult to trust virtual currencies anymore. Others probably will no longer invest in them. Security. Money cannot be kept in insecure places. I won't consider investing unless there's a reliable platform providing such services. World leaders meeting in Davos last week issued fresh warnings about the dangers of cryptocurrencies, suggesting they risked being used for illicit activity. Will the coin check theft now prompt regulators to act? Rodri Davis, BBC News.